start. This is our fourth podcast with Aplabs team, and today we'll, we are extremely happy to meet Sonia. She is our project manager, and she is a very uh, communicative person, and we're glad to have her today. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Ira. Hi, Tonya. Nice to be here today with you. And the first question is, uh, can you tell about yourself, about your hobbies? Where are you from? Are you from Kiev or from some other city? Okay, so I'm 24. I'm from Western Ukraine, Ivano-Frankivsk. But for the last two years have been living and working here in Kiev. So as for my hobbies, I guess it's tattoos, as you might notice. Music, <laughs> books and everything that connects with art. I'm passionate about art, so yeah. Do you play piano? I see uh, there is... Yeah, a bit, yeah. I started in music school when I was a child and now I'm trying to, to remember some stuff. Knowing notes might be helpful in uh, learning languages and people with uh, ability to listen music and to create music, they are um, more into languages as far as I know. Is that true? Maybe. I think that's possible, yeah. And um, where did you study? Uh, I studied in Ivano-Frankivsk. I graduated from Vasil Stefanek National University of Ukraine. Uh, so I studied foreign languages and literature, which was not the best object, but yeah, that's life. <laughs> Why not? Uh, you know, I chose this major because I was young, so I really didn't know what I wanted to do. So I chose the easiest way, so it was just a good start and knowledge base. Like. But definitely not my choice in a career. If you would choose now, what would you uh, That's an interesting question. I guess UX design or some... I don't know, culture, something connects with art, connected with art, mm -hmm. or journalism, mm -hmm. yeah. How did you start a uh, project manager job? Uh, I worked at Uplops as a pre-sales manager, as lead generation manager, and um, I worked at this position for about a year and then we with our CTO with Vitaly decided that it's time to move on and I can try to to be a project manager or customer success because I really wanted to communicate to talk to people to help people so yeah that's how it started and your previous experience before upload uh, I started my career as a customer a customer support manager. So then uh, I moved to Kyiv and Aplops found me. Yep. How did you start your journey as customer support? Like uh, you were studying uh, languages and literature. Like you tried yourself in different uh, opportunities you had those times or how did it happen? So I was studied, studying in university and we have like different programs in university, different opportunities for students. So one company just asked if some students wanted to try themselves in some customer support role to communicate with native speakers. And this is how I started to work as a customer, success, a customer support manager. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was a good start. Um, I was teach how to communicate with people, with native speakers from US, from Canada, Europe. It was really cool and fun experience. And did you have any additional courses for project manager position? Uh, I'm taking a course now from edX. Also, just took some course courses like HubSpot Academy, but it was just sales, marketing, more this direction. And for the project manager, yeah, currently taking a course. Um, and uh, do you like uh, project manager to be project manager in Uplabs? Uh, yep, it was a great opportunity to try myself, and I'm 
really grateful that I have such a great team, that I have such a great management who supports, who provide opportunity to learn, to grow. So being a project manager is stressful. Sometimes it can be really tough, but I like it. That's really great life and work experience. Why, why can it be tough? <laughs> uh, being a project manager is a great responsibility. You always need to plan to to be on point you always need to be very responsible and sometimes uh, i can just overreact and took all just a bit personal, personal. right yeah how many projects do you have simultaneous uh, now i have like two or two three projects so the biggest amount of project at the same time was seven. For me, it was wow. like a lot. They were not the big project, but seven, seven projects for the person who has now experienced. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> It was at the start of your uh, sale, uh, at, uh, yeah. change in direction from uh, from sales department to project manager. I worked as a project manager like for three, four months, and yep, yeah, that's when I had like seven, six, seven projects at the same time. But still, you, but still, you like those opportunities despite you had already seven projects and stayed in. It's always a chance to learn something new, so why not? Did you have to work overtime? Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, I work like after 7 p.m., after work after 8 p.m. But uh, I managed to find the best time with our, with our clients, with my clients. So now even with clients from the U.S., we have like seven hours difference they know that we have time difference and we have our own schedule. So we found this three, four perfect hours to communicate. And can you describe uh, your working day, your daily routine? Uh, so the first half of the day, it's usually like daily meetings, planning organization, no work with developers and so and the second half it's time for clients it's meeting with clients chats with clients and all this client oriented work so mm -hmm. i have the schedule and i follow it always strict yep that's the best i can do as a project manager be always prepared for the next task Mm. And in your opinion, what are the qualities of a great project manager? Oh, be able to be cool under pressure and be a great communicator. Because even if you don't know something, if you can talk and if you can ask questions, you're going to be okay. That's for sure. That means, that means you have to be prepared to do to, to all cases, all possible cases and still be cool. Are you an extrovert? <laughs> no, I'm introvert actually, more introvert. But still you like communication yeah, and I it's like, okay. I like communication as a work. As in personal life, I can like easily spend time by myself for days, for even for weeks. So quarantine is not like affect me at all. But uh, when it comes to work, I prefer to communicate and engage with people. Do you need to know some technologies when you work with uh, developers and uh, projects? I think it depends. It depends on a project and a client requirements from the client. But ne not necessarily. I not a technical person at all. So I think the most important is to be able to talk with your team and have a good communication with your team. Because I can ask to explain me something, to show me something I don't understand, and that would be okay for my developers. They know that I am not technical at all. So I think if you have a great team, you don't necessarily need to be technical. And is it easy to work with our developers? Yeah, I personally I work with two 
developers on a regular basis and they are both very professional, very cool guys and we have even friendly environment and relationship in our team. So that's why I found it very easy to work with them. What approaches or tricks do you use to convince developers in case of some controversial issues? Oh, that's a really great question. Um, you know, I think that sometimes you need to show or explain something to developers from the UX, from the business point of view. Because developers are technical people and sometimes they don't see some points that you see. So to convince them, you just need to be... Do you often experience some controversial issues? No, I guess no. Um, what metho methodologies and tools do you use for your projects? I started to learn project manager by myself. So I started with the East GitLab uh, it tool where we communicate even clients we have or tasks, words and everything related to the project. So as for the um, approaches, I like to use Kanban the most, the process of Kanban, because I like the visualization of your work, like with the board, when you see what tasks should be done next, how much time you will spend, and all this. Do you support the idea that the client is always right? It's a very interesting question. I don't but uh, we work in the outsource, so our main goal is to provide clients with the best customer service, with the best services. So in our case, yep, client always right. But sometimes I need, I, I guess, you need just to talk with your clients more so they can understand that sometimes they can be wrong, a bit wrong some questions. Did you experience working with some unrespectful clients? With unrespectful, I guess, no. All my clients are totally, totally respectful, I guess, so I had no such experience. And maybe there were cases when you're over a deadline or uh, yes, the client? Sometimes, yeah, that happened because we are all people and sometimes something goes wrong so I always talk to my clients and ex trying to explain all the details to them so if something goes wrong with a deadline or some tasks uh, we usually have a call or some chat where we review what was done and why we had this issue so mm -hmm. usually it's okay for not that critical. Are you always satisfied with the result of your work? No, of course no. I'm all, I'm just learning, so I think that you always can do better. Even if you're a professional, you always can do better, so I'm not satisfied always with my work. And um, what do you think needs to be improved? I guess it's just experience. You, in all kind of professions, you need to have this experience, experience with clients, experience with developers, so you know more, you can be more effective in your work and can spend much less time on some tasks. What was the most uh, interesting project for you and why? Can you tell its purpose, functionality, or challenges? Yep. I guess it's one of our projects, uh, our current project, Smart City Plaza. Uh, it's a platform for innovators, for creators of products for municipalities of Amsterdam. So we work a lot of design changes or like improvements of the website and now we work on the community, community feature of the website so users will be interacting 
like you will have this ability to post, like, mm, chat, discuss some projects and so on. I like this project because our opinion matters and we can suggest something when it comes to design changes or some features, some, I don't know, buttons. We can suggest what we think would be the best and fly mm -hmm. here. So the client is listening to you yeah. as experts. Yep, yeah. and that's really cool. And you continue this project for how long? Uh, I work on this project for about four months, four or five months, I guess. And you work now for yeah. it. Yeah, that's right. Still. It's still mm -hmm. in progress. We have a lot of work. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you have some life hacks uh, at work? Uh, that can maybe simplify your life. Trello is my life hack number one at work because I always start my day by planning what I'm gonna do it today. So I have my personal board when I left notes, when I plan my work, when I plan the work of developers and all the meetings just to keep everything on track for me. So mm. it really helps. And maybe some hacks about, uh, I don't know, recharging your energy. You know, when I uh, feel underperformed, I usually just switch off to some YouTube videos or some like other stuff, listening to music for 20 minutes. And then I started to prioritize my tasks. So I usually do the first thing would be the thing I hated like the task I really don't want to do. So it will be my first thing to do, just to forget about it by the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. It's a good approach. <laughs> yeah. Not always working, but some trying. If the project is not adhering to schedule, how do you get back on the track? Uh, I think the best way I I didn't have this experience, I guess, yet, but if it will, like, if it's something crucial, I would review all the project, all the tasks that were done, and then I would try to reorganize something, maybe to change some tasks, change the priority of task or so, and of course to talk about all the process and progress and tasks with the client. If something like this happens, do you seek the help outside the project team? Uh, no. I think no. We usually seek outside help from our tech lead or just CEO when mm -hmm. it comes to some technical questions. Mm -hmm. But for most of the time, we're good in terms of our team. In general, how stressful is this kind of job? Uh, it's stressful, but it all depends on you, because if you just take it easy and remember that it's just a work, so you should be good at work, but when, it, when the day is, work day is over, you should take some rest and forget about mm -hmm. all those tasks and all those meetings just for a while. So mm -hmm. it all depends on you. It's really stressful, but if you um, if you learn how to manage all those crazy stuff during the day, so it, you're gonna be okay. How did you manage the remote job? And which one do you like most? Go to the office or working remotely? You know, uh, I think that I like remote job because I'm more effective when I work from home. I noticed that for last like two two months, I guess. <laughs> so I don't spend a lot of time to some some stuff that took that takes mm -hmm. my time, like um, going to and from work taking some lunch at the restaurant or so, or mm -hmm. going to shops and all this. Talking stuff. to friends. Yeah, yeah. Chatting. 
Yeah, <laughs> but I really missed uh, our team, our office, uh, and all the guys because it was really fun. So if we go back to office, I would be really, really grateful for that because I need just a, a bit of company of like people around me. For it. Yeah, and um, we have the last question. If not for the project manager, what else would you choose? Uh, for now, I think UX design because I am really passionate about the design and all this, all the stuff that you can create on a computer or iPad. So I started to create some mock-ups, some prototypes. Uh, and I really think this is this is it. This is what I'm gonna do next. And it would be great that if I could do that in a plus, because <laughs> I I like our company. So yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's commonly known that we have this approach as a flat company. You are able to. Um, show your uh, all your talents in different fields uh, fields and uh, tell what you can do and you can try it yourself as a ux designer maybe it, it is your next uh, step yep totally agree so in terms of our company it's possible for sure oh well, that was very interesting and uh, yeah. you appear to be very uh different and very, uh, I don't know, talented person whom we were uh, pleased to talk with. And uh, I hope, yeah, I hope we will gather once per month at least while we're on quarantine for you to see our team and to meet all together. But uh, that was uh, all for our podcast. We were happy to see you and to talk to you. Likewise. And thank you so much and have a nice day. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Bye.